but it's not burnt. That's the best part. It's not burnt. It's perfect. Oh yeah. Alrighty, here I am on day two. I've got my dough ready to go right here. I didn't make you wait and see through all the weighing of everything, but this is about 17 and a half ounces right here. I think it's probably gonna be a bit too much, but you know what, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've been having this sit for a little while, so it's nice and puffy, and it's very, very floury, um, to the point where I don't think I even need to flower the surface at all. So I'm gonna plop that out right there. It's a little bit windy, so bear with me. On this outside edition, night two, I've got my backup dough again, just in case. All right, so again, we're gonna go for 16 inches or so. Um, you know, start in the middle and you work your way out. That's so pillowy. Lots of air in this one. And the strategy I'm going to do this time around is I'm actually going to cook it at a slightly lower temperature. It's been preheating for about 20 minutes or so now. Our temperature is at about 530 degrees. We'll let it preheat a little bit longer. So I'm just going to take it nice and slow with this dough. No sense on rushing. You see I have a lot of flour on it. My goal this time is to not burn it. All right, so maybe we'll stick with a 14 inch pie this time since I only have a 14 inch peel. All right, first up is our pizza sauce. Just a nice whole ladle. That sauce is beautiful looking. And then finally our pepperonis. This time I'm actually gonna arrange them a little bit more nicely. There we go. I think we're good. I'm gonna transfer this over to our pizza peel. There we go. This is only a 14 inch peel, so you can kind of see that we've already hit the limit of what this peel can do. All right, I think we're ready. Press fingers, let's hope this goes better than last time. And we'll shimmy it right in. This also, it isn't quite as large as the last one, so that'll probably help. Oh yeah, you can tell that it's not cooking nearly as fast as I've turned the temperature down so much lower. Our temp, our temperature in there right now is the very back corner, about 700, and up here it's about 450. That's the disparity difference in terms of temperature. You can kind of see all the way back there, and then all the way down here. 709 to 400. So far so good. Whew. She's looking pretty so far though. All right, I think we did better this time. What do you think? All right. Not quite 16 inches. I think we're at about maybe 14, 14 and a half inches. But it's not burnt. That's the best part. It's not burnt. It's perfect. You can kind of see underneath. It's nice in the bottom too. You can feel like it's nice and crisp. Nice and thick. Perfect.
right, overall, I'm very, very pleased with this. It's been resting for about a minute, a couple minutes or so on this tray. Uh, I am super excited. I'm just going to transfer it right here. We're going to cut it, dig in, and see what it looks like. New York styles is supposed to be nice and big, so we're gonna just do it in fours. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty good. I think it could have cooked a little bit longer on the bottom, but not too bad. Again, pretty poofy crust on the outside. That's not bad looking though. Mm. It's delicious though. I definitely eat that again. All right. Well, I'd say this is a failure again, as far as 16 inch pizza goes. However, we were very successful in making a 14 and a half inch pizza. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, let me know what you think I could have done better this time around. Uh, I think I'll reduce the amount of dough a little bit and actually stretch it out a little bit better and take my time a little bit more for the next time. However, but as you can tell, the disparity in temperature between the very back left corner and the front right corner is two to 300 degrees, at least on this oven. Again, I'm using a natural gas setup, so maybe that, it, that, maybe that makes it different, I don't know. But we'll see. Um, I'm gonna make my last little pizza here uh, for dinner, but yeah, thanks for watching again, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If there's anything I could have done differently that you know of, uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you told me in the description below. I ordered a 16 inch peel just so I can have something to, a vessel to carry it onto into the oven to see if that can help me in my quest, but we'll see. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.